I've chewed that I took the took the honey off a few days ago. Earlier in the year, I took out a, a queen cell from this hive and bred a new queen. So it's a daughter of the queen that's in there at the moment. So it's a younger queen, and I'm going to replace the older queen with the younger queen in a, a relatively easy method. Um, let me put this somewhere. So, I'm going to keep one of the two supers, put it on a new floor, and then put newspaper over the top of the super and put the young queen in the new brew box on top of the newspaper. And the old queen I'm going to move just a little bit further away over the other side of the apiary and um, the flying bees have come back. Actually it still seems like there's still quite a lot of honey in this in this hive so that's that's quite good. So this whole box with the floor I can move Right, so that box is gone, the queen's gone, in the old blue box. The flying bees will come back to here. They'll come back to this super. Well, they've always come back to. Ah. This newspaper's got a staple in it, so I won't need to put any holes in the newspaper. This is just a, uh, a box that has been scorched and flamed to clean it up a bit. Scor scorched and scraped, I should say. The newspaper method is the favourite method of uniting two lots of bees together. The idea is that they they smell each other before they are able to chew through the newspaper and so that they're used to each other the time they get to meet and the idea is that they then don't fight. So this is this is a box with a new queen in. This was set the the queen cell was taken away to another apiary, so the queen wasn't mated here.
ones just stung me through the trousers. I've got a reasonable amount of brood there. Be useful to see the queen. Now they've only just come out of my car, so they're probably not too keen about all this disturbance. There are eggs in the bottom corner there. Plants are free. Honey, honey stores. Oh, there's the queen. Greens and rotten with his fox. So
Well, I think I'm just going to knock the box and dump them in. We're going to have the honey back in a minute. Right, that old box has done its job. And uh, I'm pretty sure that queen ended up in there somewhere. So now I'm going to bring a few frames back from the other brood box that I took away and put those in there to fill up some of this gap. I'm going to try and find some frames of stores and a good frame of eggs if possible. Uh, Stop you for the time being. Now, I've selected a couple of frames from the mother's hive. The idea is to um, select frames that have got eggs in but not too much cat brood because the idea of taking the the frames away is to take the cat brood away with the mites in. Now there's a little bit of cat brood left here but not very much and there's eggs and young larvae in all of this in this frame so that's the one I'm going to put in to that hive. I've got one more which is also still got some cat brood but all of the centre there so, I just need to um, be able to identify those frames when, when I come back because the idea is to trap the mites, the mites that are still on the bees, is to trap them in these two frames. So I need to know, and when I come back I need to be sure that I'm taking out the right frames. So a drawing pin on each of them will just uh, right. I'll be able to identify those now. 
So they can go they can go in the middle of the brood box, in the middle of the brood area, because they're eggs. And then I can come back in a week's time when those frames are capped and uh, take them out and hopefully take out some mites. Now obviously there are other frames in there from that nuke. But because it's a new one and it had a brood break there won't be that, there won't be quite so many mites as there would be if it was in a, a just an ordinary hive. This is a honey. Now these bees actually sealed up the entrance here. Some seal it up and some don't. These have. So I've now just got to open it up a little bit so they can get at this, this honey. So, flying bees are going back to the box, new queen bee is in the top box, we hope, should be, and they will merge together in no time at all. These bees can just get at that little bit of this honey here and take that back down. I can come back in a week's time and uh, take out the marked frames and give that brood back to the other one if, if, um, if necessary. But I'm going to take it out to reduce the mite levels in this colony. And hopefully they've got a, uh, a nice new queen for next, for next year. Um, I might just put a, an empty soup around there to uh, Let's finish.